You unravel me with a melody. You surround me with a song. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. Whoa. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Larry, your regular host at the Out and Proud African LGBTI YouTube channel. We are still at the Kensington Park, London. This afternoon, I'm catching up with friends. Good afternoon, welcome on board. Please introduce yourself to my viewers at home. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is uh, Amos Jaura. I'm happy to be here, um, socializing with my friends from LGBT, okay. out, and proud African, out and proud African LGBT. Okay, Amos, you want to tell my viewers where you come from? I'm from Uganda, a proud gay man from Uganda. So, Amos, yes, yes. you are from Uganda. That's true. I've got loads and loads of friends from Uganda. Nice to hear that. For the benefit of my viewers back home, can you tell me your journey from Uganda to the United Kingdom? Yeah, I, I came from Uganda to the United Kingdom around 2003. All right. Mm, but I had my passion as somebody who loves singing. All right. Like going in the church to sing or sing back home in the church. But I could not try to express that passion properly. Yeah. Okay, in Uganda. I, in Uganda, I couldn't express it properly. Yeah. And because why is of, that? It's because of my sexuality. Okay. So, like, it was against the religion. So, it, I was not fit to express uh, as a Christian, okay. as somebody who loves God, to praise and worship Him. It was very hard for me. Mm. So, because of your sexuality, the God-given talent the talent that God bestowed on you, you cannot even showcase it while you are in Uganda? I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't, it was very hard for me to do that. Okay. Yeah. So, since you arrived in the United Kingdom, tell us, have you been able to do things with that talent? What have you been able to do with the talent God gave you in the yeah. United Kingdom? Yeah. With my music talent, I'm finding it, it's okay. I'm finding it, I love it, I've got the passion for it. Okay. I'm not under the fear which I had before. Okay. Because I'm free to be in this country. Okay. Yeah, and I'm enjoying it at the moment, yeah. Okay. And at the moment I am I do compile the songs in one of the churches which I go to, that's MCC North London. Okay. I am the worship leader, okay. MC Church Choir member. Okay. I do compose the songs which we are sing on Sundays. Oh, great. Yeah. That's the Metropolitan Community Church, North London. That's, that's true, that's true, yeah. Oh, I know you love singing, but from what you've told us, back home in Uganda, you are unable to showcase your talent the way you want because you are a gay man. But in the United Kingdom, how have you been showcasing your talent. Where are you with your music talent? Uh, in the United Kingdom, at the beginning, it was also not <coughs> easy. Okay, it wasn't yeah. easy? It wasn't easy, yeah. Okay. I first Ooh. moved around different churches. All right. And I found it still very hard for me to express my music like the way I used to express it. All right. And yeah, like the, what I was going through at home still was I find so it's still very hard here. Yeah. Okay. Until I came across one church uh, called MCC North London. That's a metropolitan exactly, community yeah. church, North, North London. London yeah. Okay. So when I joined this church as a member, I found it so welcoming to me. All right. And this and the kind of music they could sing. I found myself could correlate the songs I used to sing. Okay. So I fell in love with the church. Because of falling in love with the church, I, go, I had to join the choir. And I started as a person who was back in the choir singing and singing. We were even learning more and more songs for the church. 
still the, still the leaders for the church okay. and the ones who are leading the worship team, okay. like Deacon Debbie, we have got Deacon Jim, and then Senior Deacon Jen. They fell in love the way I was singing. They saw I had that passion for the music, I had that talent. All right. and then from there, they had to train me how to select the songs according to the way the church is running on how they select the songs. And then from there, that's how I became a worship team leader start selecting the songs for the, for the church. Oh, well done you. For the benefit of our viewers, if I ask you to, just for 10, 15, 20 seconds, as you wish, can you sing a song for us? A little, I can, yeah, I can sing, like what? a little capella. The floor is capella, yours. Yeah. I can do that. Yeah, go ahead, Amos. You unravel me with a melody you surround me with a song. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. Whoa. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. That's really nice. It is. You shouldn't have fear, you're a child of God. Yes. You shouldn't have fear. That song speaks so much to me. I'm no longer a slave to fear. Yeah. yeah. I'm a child of God. Yeah. What does that song mean to you and to the members of the LGBT community here in the UK and back home in Uganda? That song, I'm no longer a child of God. I'm no longer a slave to fear. It's an important song. God loves us regardless of your sexuality. Okay. You are free to worship Him. You don't have to have the fear. You're a child of God regardless of your sexuality. Mm -hmm. So I, to, to my, to my fellow LGBT back home, mm, as a child of God, God does not condemn you of your sexuality. He still loves you the way you are. Okay. So that fear cannot be there, cannot be in you. And having joined MCC and joined with my fellow LGBT members, that fear is not there. I'm no longer under, under that fear. Mm -hmm. I'm a child of God. God loves me. All the fear is gone. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, Amos. Our God is God of love, irrespective of your sexuality. If you are a gay man, if you are a lesbian, I just want, to, want you to look into the future. In five years' time, where do you see yourself? Uh, in five years' time, I see myself writing the songs, composing the songs that will touch those poor who are against the LGBT, LGBT community back home. Okay. That if they listen to the songs, they may change their hearts and leave the LGBT poor. To right. start singing the songs they would love to sing. Okay. The songs that they are free like to sing, okay. regardless of their sexuality. Mm. That's where I'm looking into. That's the area I'm looking into. Okay. In five years' time. To be able to sing, compose songs song, yeah, exactly, that yeah. will change homophobia back home. That's true, yeah. That's a good one. Well done. In addition to being a worship leader in the MCCNL, what other things do you do in the church? Uh, other things I do in the church, uh, I also do welcome some new members in the church. Okay. Uh, trying to talk to them, yeah, tell them what they have gone through. Okay. And I found out some of the members, they are the same things I went through. All right. And through this, this has given me the courage to talk to them, to encourage them that you're most welcome to this church. It's a loving church. God loves all of us, okay. regardless of your sexuality. All right. Through this, it has empowered me to go outside, even outside the church. All right. Within the UK, especially right. along the, the Ugandan community. All right. To explain to them that you need to accept who you are. You can't change yourself. But then I have to explain to them so that they, the Ugandan community can also accept me who I am 
and they also start accepting also those for who they are. Okay. Yeah. What's your experience in the African community, uh, in particularly the Ugandan community? <laughs> that much again. Uh, it has not been easy, yeah? Yeah, tell me. Yeah. Other community, the Ugandan community, there are those ones who have who you cannot really be convinced okay. to change. You know? About they cannot be convinced to change. Okay. Yeah. To accept the LGBT people who they are. Alright. Yeah. That even if should I say the if then if Jesus comes, they will never change. They are fixed on that, yeah. Mm -hmm. But there are some others I, I try to explain to them, yeah, that Jesus loves them the way they are. Huh? They should also start accepting this energy people the way they are mm -hmm. because Jesus loves them too, yeah. Before you go, Amos, being a religious and worship uh, leader, what message do you have for our people back home, especially the homophobes and religious leaders who are attacking the LGBT community? What message do you have for them? Glad to hear again. Uh, the message I have to the pastors who are attacking the LGBT community back home, they should understand the God we serve is a God of love. God of love. Yeah. Regardless of who you are and your sexuality. Okay. God does not condemn your sexuality does not condemn you for worshiping God. Mm -hmm. He still loves us the way you the way we are. Okay. So they should stop this business of attacking the LGBT people who want to express their talent like the way they could, they stop them from doing that. Okay. They should leave them there because God loves all of us. Okay. The way we are. That's and true. they are free to worship him. Yeah. And they're supposed to sing with him. They're supposed to worship him and then sing to him. Wow. The guys of our sexuality. Mm. Thank you very much, Amos. The parting words from Amos this evening is that the God we serve is God of love. And everyone, irrespective of their sexuality, is free to worship God. On that note, I want to say a very big thank you to all our viewers. Keep watching, keep commenting, keep sharing. Please ensure you subscribe if you have not done so. And turn on the notification button for interesting videos like this. Thank you very much for coming this evening, Amos. Thank you, Life. I'll meet you again. Enjoy your, the remaining part of your evening. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening, my viewers. Bye-bye.